Hi guys, this is my uh, ASRock Extreme 11 X99 motherboard. It just came in the mail from Newegg. Um, I already did the unbox unboxing on another video, but I had some sound issues, so I'm not going to go through the unboxing again. I'm, I'm sure you all are familiar with several unboxings. This is what I didn't completely take everything off, but this um, is the foam padding came out of this box. And of course, it was in a heat sheet. One of these are anti static bags. Um, there's an IO shield come with it that comes with all, every motherboard. Uh, cable, um, three SATA cable packets right here. Um, you got a four way SLI bridge. A bunch of SLI bridges that came with this stuff. And then they come in different sizes. They, they're not uh, the flexible one. They like the uh, the hard ones, all of them. So apparently that's uh, from what I understand. A lot of people like those better. And this little screw don't know where it goes to, but I'll find out. And all that stuff came in this Asrock Extreme pouch. Um, <clears throat> this. Of course, there's also the extreme, the yeah, quick installation guide, and the software setup guide with the CD-ROM, the CD-ROM disk inside, uh, and a gift card from for a four percent, uh, fifty percent or fifty dollars off gift card from Newegg where I purchased this. Um, this item here. Um, one of the things that I can point point out right away is that these holes <clears throat> doesn't go all the way through for the CPU. If you're gonna mount a water block or a heat sink of some kind on top of your CPU, you can check one of the uh, Jay's two cents video. He drilled through there to to put a back plate and actually destroy his motherboard. Uh, pretty much killed it. I chose this extended ATX motherboard because it had everything I need. This will be my first complete build, um, custom build altogether. I have helped build a computer in the past, but all I did was install the uh, CPU and the, the RAM and a couple of minor things on the inside. But this one will be a complete build. Now, I got this from Newegg for about a little over 500 bucks. But they typically go for about $600, a little over $600. This was an open box item. So I hope everything works and I hope everything is in, in here. I will be testing that out once my power supply comes in. And, um, and the rest of my equipment comes in next week. So um, again, this is a foam. Nice back, matte back, black. And it's... Um, it's packaged all right. Um, I have nothing to complain about because I have nothing to really compare it to. I didn't. I will be putting a fifty-eight. Uh, sorry, a sixty-eight fifty K processor in here by Intel, and I uh, and a ten eighty Turbo um, ASUS uh, graphics card as well, um, and thirty-two gigs of RAM. This is a four-way, so I had to do four. For eight gig gigabit sticks, and uh, just waiting for those things to come in the mail. I'm I'm running uh, 50, the AX 1500i uh, by course A power supply. I know it's overkill. I could get away with a 1000 uh, EVGA or something like that. But um, again, I'm going for expandability uh, for later on because I also intend to hook up a s custom sound system built into whatever custom setup I do and it's not going to be in a case it's going to pretty much be almost like a desk I've only seen one other video where a desk was used but mine would be mobile um, I actually saw that video a couple of days ago but I've been planning this for years so um, again here's the uh, motherboard uh, you can go online if you want to know more about this and download the um, the manual online and um, it's really sweet there are a couple reviews online as far as uh, for the extreme five extreme six 
and their uh, killer, ex extreme killer or something like that, fatality. That's uh, getting good reviews. Now, as far as uh, customer service, apparently ASRock is legendary for having the shittiest customer service in the world when it comes to computers. I, I um, have contacted them once before while waiting for this motherboard to get here and um, I didn't seem to have any problems. The tech guy was a little short in, in responding to me, but It, um, he answered my questions uh, that I needed an answer and I went and moved on. So in the future, I will update you all more on this bill and on their customer service. There you have it guys. Hope you all enjoyed this video. You all have a good day.